you to today's session of Visual J for X, in which we will be starting to use the indicator named Heikin Ashi lines. As you can infer from the name, this is the indicator from Japan. This is a kind of old indicator which was uh, imported to the West a couple of decades back, but uh, in Japan it has been uh, in use for ages and uh, it is uh, one variant of the candlestick but uh, of course it is uh, calculated differently in uh, today's session of visual j forex we will be mainly concerned with the functional aspects of it we will not be going into the technicalities how it is calculated how the values are derived rather than that we will uh, simply focus on how we can utilize this indicator to design and develop the algorithm for a profitable trading system so let us now head to the visual j forex board which has been developed by the Decoscopy Bank SA. You will find this indicator listed amongst the other indicators just below the donkey and channel. Till last session, we were uh, considering the donkey and channel. Now it's the turn of Haken Ashi lines. We have to define only three input parameters, depending on which we will be getting four input parameters. So you provide three input values and you get four input values. First thing is uh, instrument, another is uh, candle period on which these lines will be calculated and the shift value, whether you want to retrieve the value for the current candle period or you, if you want to go back in time you can simply define this shift value accordingly. I will uh, explain to you how this uh, setup is going to work. This is the Euro USD chart on the daily time frame and I have plotted the Taking Ashi lines with the default configuration. Yeah. And it is uh, pretty simple to understand. We have to see whether the closing value, the closing line, HA close and HA open, these are the two lines which uh, are going to be the driving factor for our algorithmic setup. We will be looking to buy when we have the HA close above the HA open. And uh, if you uh, compare these values, the HA open and HA close to the candle open and candle close, you will see that these values don't match because these are not traditional, uh, traditionally defined. These are, uh, you can say, the average values. And uh, as I said, we are not going into calculation part, but I would like you to remind uh, that uh, if you want you can check out its formula using the google or uh, even i think i had done the prior session introductory session on this uh, indicator you can refer to that also so here the setup is going to be like this we need the ha close value to be greater than the ha open value for any buy trade to be initiated and um, in addition to that the difference between the ha close and the ha open should be on the rise so when we see that the momentum is uh, getting lost and now the HA close and HA open lines are converging, we will uh, stop trading. So this is going to be the additional requirement. And for any sale trade to be initiated, we will need the HA close value to be less than the HA open value. And here also the difference between the HA close and the HA open should be rising. The current uh, periods HA close and HA open difference should be greater compared to the prior periods HA close and HA open difference. So this requirement will uh, help us in making sure that the trades are initiated only when there is enough of momentum. So this will be concerned with the daily time frame, daily time period. And uh, after the, these conditions are in place, we will be looking to optimize the entry and exit point. For that, we will be taking the help of uh, Oops. taking the help of hourly candle period and we will uh, use the similar formation here also we will be looking the looking to enter when we have the crossover from one side to the another so for any buy trade provided the daily time periods conditions are in place we will be initiating the trade when we see that in the last one hour the HA close value has crossed above the HA open value and in the 
penultimate hour in prior hour the conditions were different the ha close value was less than the ha open value and for sale trade we will uh, look to initiate the trade when a bearish crossover happens when we have the ha close value below the ha open value for last hour whereas in the earlier hour the ha close value was greater than the ha open value and to make it easier for you to read this chart the yellow line is ha close and the light blue line is ha open the dark blue is ha low and this purple line is ha high you can go to these output options and see which line is which okay and also at the same time we want to make sure that we are getting involved when there is enough of momentum so we will be looking at the difference between the last hour's closing and opening value and that should be greater than 5 pips at least and in last 4 hours there should have been good enough momentum so we will also add the condition that the difference between the opening value and the closing value should be greater than 20 pips at the minimum so as to make sure that uh, we are not really getting involved in trading when the markets are trading choppy rather than that when the momentum comes that's when we want to get involved for the new trade so this is how the system is going to be now we will have to start from the scratch and first thing we need to do is get the instrument subscription done for that we are going to need the logical blocks it blocks three of these at first And to this, we have to add default instrument, which should match candle instrument. On candle, okay. and candle instrument should be equal to instrument of cho our choice which is going to be euro usd here it is okay so first input equals second input and after this the position amount all position will have to be equal to zero for any new trade to be initiated for any order to be placed and then comes this hacking uh, ship blocks which we will have to define and uh, here we will need two Two Haken ship blocks of the daily time frame with the different shift values. So this is going to be daily shift value of one and another will need to be added now
this will be our hourly candle period first two hour of daily shift value of 1 and 2 and after this we also have to consider the volatility in the given instrument for that we are going to take the help of info blocks we will use a cluster of four candles of the hourly candle period one will be enough another one will need to be of single and uh, we are also going to need loop view to be able to retrieve the individual variables from this cluster of data so this will be changed to hourly candle amount is going to be four shift value is going to be one Okay. Here we also have to define the input parameters for this block and the candle period is going to be hourly shift value is going to be one all right and to define the minimum difference we are also going to need two calculation expression blocks in which we will uh, define the 5 pips and 20 pips which we will later on use to set the conditions So here we are going to take the default instrument's pip size and multiply it with the desired variable with desired value, create a new variable, its value will be 5. and the result will be a1 into a2 okay and here we will use 20 pips so new variable we start value of 20 a1 into a2 and its name is going to be dhl okay so these two 
variables we have created with the values of 5 pips and 20 pips respectively. And to pinpoint the exact entry point, we will also be using the logical blocks, if blocks. Oh, not if blocks, info blocks actually. If blocks we will use later on. Prior to that, we have to add the info blocks of 10 seconds each. value of one and two here also this will be changed to 10 seconds okay so with this we have defined these uh, parameters the blocks which will then come handy while defining the conditions for the execution of the trade. So you can say that these are the building blocks of our basic building blocks of our algorithm. And as we are running short on time, we will stop for the day here, but do come back for additional developments. For further coverage of the market developments, you can also follow the Ducoscopy analytics page for which the link has been provided. For uh, starting to trade, you can use the GeForex platform for any query or any idea. You can also reach out to us on Facebook. Our page is available there. Thank you all for joining in. Have a fabulous time ahead. See you next time. Till then, goodbye.